a really special place. Blink Twice has so many different ingredients baked into this film. You got a little bit of Glass Onion, the Knives Out story, a little bit of Barbie, and some uh, I Spit on Your Grave. So it is a social satire, psychological horror film that showcases Zoe Kravitz's visual voice. And if she continues doing content like this and storytelling like this, she is going to have a future in directing. And I look forward to seeing it. You know, Blink Twice doesn't necessarily always work. Intentionally frustrating. When you watch the the first half of the movie, you get a kind of like, where is this going? What's happening? And and then all of a sudden it just kind of hits you, which then all of a sudden it just becomes heartbreaking. You know, it was interesting that I create these first impression quick videos and hopefully I can start up a conversation. And I did get a message and stating that that just what we need is another message movie. I do not plan to watch the film <laughs> now that I know that's a message film. Um, you know, for me, horror films are a mirror of our society at at that time. I think that all horror films have a element of messaging in it. In fact, even Deadpool vs. Wolverine has a message to it, right? Horror films kind of are a reflection to the mirror. I was talking to my industry circle and about just this. Well, even like Night at the Living Dead is about the fear of nuclear holocaust, right? And then there's, of course, societal society horror like the American Psycho. Um, so Blink Twice is really kind of fits into mirroring what is happening today or the fears. And then even just the fear of being a woman. Or even like Rosemary's Baby, the fear of just becoming a, a mother. So there's a lot of different types of messages. And I think in a, if you're looking at a film because you do, because of your ideology or you get triggered by your the political beliefs, it's all fair. I totally get it. But missing an opportunity to see a, an upcoming filmmaker uh, showcase their work especially uh, in, in this capacity, I think it's you know, a missed opportunity. Uh, and I really appreciate any type of messages that you all leave me. Uh, and I love to talk about it. That's the whole point, right? So even though I may not disagree, I love the fact that we are starting a conversation. So appreciate your message. Uh, I would like to see you try to give it a shot and see what you feel about it. it mixes a lot of different genres and that's a really tough thing to do and I believe that Zoe Kravitz pulled it off in fact I actually kind of mirror it to Peter Berg's first feature film that also starred Christian Slater uh, Very Bad Things which is another very dark comedy so maybe I'm reaching I don't know but that is my thought and I'd love to hear what you have to say about Blink Twice and I again I appreciate the comment we had for the first impression video that I did and you know it's Blink Twice is a disturbing film it it's, could be a frustrating uh, first hour for you but you know all of a sudden it flips and you can take away with whatever you want to take away with um, but I, I don't know I think it's a, a good movie for an upcoming visual storyteller and I think it's worth the watch so again those are my thoughts thank you for going on this film journey with me and until next time what are we gonna do about you hmm?